Hi, it's Summer and today we are going to be reorganizing my bookshelves. Not anything crazy, it's actually just more of like I'm going to be putting some books away and just kind of fitting them into the rainbow. With a rainbow bookshelf it's kind of tricky because you have to like shift all of the books down when you add a new book. Since the process is kind of a pain in the ass and time consuming, I decided that I'm going to wait to put all of my new books into the bookshelf until I have a substantial book haul and then I'll film the book haul and then after that I'll put all of the books away. I thought this might be kind of a fun video so I'm just going to try it. It's going to be very chill. I'm probably just going to put like some music over the top of it. I also thought it would be kind of fun just to kind of show you a couple of things that are not books that are on my shelves. It's mainly plants and crystals but uh, I thought that could be kind of fun. So up here it starts with white and I have a couple of clear quartz crystals. I have this little kind of like raw point and then a sphere. And then I have this kind of sad little jar of pothos clippings <laughs> that are propagating, but my cat Markle loves to like bite on the leaves. So they're looking a little bit sad, but the roots are definitely growing. So that's good. I also have this little tiny baby cactus. I kind of think it might be dead though, to be honest. I don't really know, <laughs> but it lives up here regardless. <laughs> I also have another jar of some pothos clippings, also a Swiss cheese monstera clipping. This is also a Swiss cheese monstera propagation. It's just so cute and tiny, I love it. But it goes from cream to yellow and then over to another propagation, another pothos that goes down pretty far. Also my emotional support water bottle. <laughs> then we come back over here and I have my Swiss cheese monstera and then I have a little honey calcite mushroom behind it i have this little wooden box and it has palo santo in it on top of that i have a selenite tower and then this is a crystal bookend so we go from yellow to green to blue and then over here into dark blue i have this really pretty blue crystal i'm pretty sure this is brazilian agate and it also has this little druzy cavern in it i'm obsessed travis got this for me it has this really pretty banding in it. That's usually how you tell that something is an agate. But yeah, I think that's so pretty. It's also like a fairly big piece, which I also really like. And then we're back over here to dark blue, kind of going into like some periwinkle kind of purpley colors. I have this crystal over here. It's a moon-shaped um, aura druzy. I'm also pretty sure this one's an agate but it has this really pretty kind of like oil spill kind of sheen on it, which is why it's called an aura druzy. And then it has these really pretty little crystals right there. I just love it. I think it's really pretty right here. I try to like coordinate the crystal color to the book color, which you've probably noticed by now. So we go into more of the purples. And so of course I had to put my little purple ghosty by all of my purple books. This is Utah Tiffany Stone. So it's kind of fun, it's local to my area, and it just looks like a little ghost, and I'm obsessed with him. <laughs> so now we're moving from purple into pink. I of course have some rose quartz, because it's my favorite crystal. So there's just this regular rose quartz point, and then I have this angel aura point. I don't think it's rose quartz, I think this one actually is just regular quartz, but it has that really pretty rainbow sheen on it and then i have this like really chunky rose quartz that is my favorite <laughs> so then we go from pink into orange and then from orange into red and then from red into like golds and browns and then we go from the golds and the browns into black and my stanley's in the way <laughs> so into black and then i have this um smoky quartz point that kind of lives down here i kind of tried to go from like gold black orange black yellow and orange black red and black purple and blue and green right here and then the rest are just kind of like regular like black and white and then these ones are just kind of like the gray colored ones these ones that are flipped around are like the ranger's apprentice and like fable haven and stuff like that that are travis's and his brother's like childhood books that i don't think are going to be staying here so like that's what these are these are my childhood books. These are like some kids books and like coffee table books, more coffee table books and just like random stuff. So the bottom shelves aren't like super pretty or anything. Um, and I'm probably going to take up the rest of this shelf and probably some of this shelf with the new books that I have to add. So that's kind of what I'm working with. Now I'm going to take off everything that isn't a book 
and I'll start just like shuffling things around. Thank you. 